Hey guys, welcome to day seven of our daily devotionals and today is actually the last video for this week's daily devotional videos. So I want to end off this week by talking about something that's been on my heart lately and it's just something I feel that really needs to be talked about. So we're going to be reading from Matthew chapter six verses one to four. Take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise ye have no reward of your father which is in heaven. Therefore when thou doest thine alms do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thine alms may be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee Openly. So to start off, what exactly is an alm? So it's one of those words you just know what it means, but not exactly. So I looked it up on Google and the definition of alms is money or food given to poor people. So an act of charity. So for example, if you gave money to a homeless person. So a little bit of a backstory. This has been heavy on my heart lately for many reasons because I've been seeing it everywhere. So we know that whenever we do a good deed, we just want to tell everybody because we're so excited and we're very happy that we did such a thing. But the Bible actually talks against that. And that's what I really want to talk about in this video today. It's been happening a lot lately. And I know that I myself have even been guilty of doing this in the past. And that is when we, when we do an act of charity, we give or we help out. We are supposed to do it as the Bible says in secret. I know that what, when we do good deeds, we want the whole world to know. We want people to know, look how good of a person I am. But the Bible says, don't do it for men. Don't do it for their eyes. Do it for God's eyes. Whatever we do, do it for the glory of God because God sees us. Even if you open a door for someone and they don't say thank you, God saw it. Don't worry about that person. You just do it out of the kindness of your heart and keep it at that. Know that you you made God happy. So in this verse, we obviously know that it is saying, when you do a good deed, don't brag about it. But this could also be meaning, do not go and tell the whole world about it. Do not share it with everybody. That should be a secret between you and God. And chances are, if we are doing that good deed out of our heart and just doing it out of who we are, the goodness of God coming and flowing through us, then we wouldn't feel the need to tell everybody. But I know it's like, where do you draw the line? What if I just want to tell my mom or my brother about it because I'm just super Super excited that that happened. What if I'm not doing it out of a bragging spirit? I know it's kind of tricky to say, but I feel like if we are doing it from our heart, we are just going to keep that between us and God. There has been a lot of posts lately about people sharing the good deeds that they did, but this verse keeps popping up in my mind all the time. Like, we aren't supposed to be telling people the good deeds that we do. Not only does God's word say, don't sound a trumpet when you do a good deed. Don't do it for the glory of men and for their attention. It also says, don't even let your left hand know what your right hand did. So if our own left hand can't even let our right hand know of the good deed that we did, that just shows how much even more we are not supposed to be sharing with other people the good thing that we did. Verse 1 says, Take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. So we know that we want to store all of our treasure up there in heaven. So if we are doing all of our good deeds on earth and men are praising us for it, we're doing it for the glory of men, for their praises, then our reward in heaven is gone because we received it on earth. And it is crucial to know and remember that we want to give glory to God for the good things that we do. For all the good things that we are, we want to give glory to God. So if men are praising us for what we did, how is God getting any of the glory? So we want to do things in secret. Verse 4 says, That thine alms may be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret. So God sees our good deeds that we do, even if men don't. If men don't tell us thank you or whatever it may be, God still sees it. And then it says, um, Thy father which seeth in secret himself shall we reward thee openly. We do not want to be doing acts of kindness and expecting something in return, either from God or for men. We should be doing it just because we really genuinely want to help out and we genuinely love 
others. When we do things, we should not be expecting anything in return. We should be loving others with the same love that Jesus loved us with. Look at him for an example. He gave up his whole life for us. He gave up his whole life to save us, but he does not expect anything in return. So I guess the main thing to learn out of all of this is that when you do a good deed, God sees you. Whether or not a person thanks you for it or people are praising you for it, whatsoever we do, do it for the glory of God. If so remember, you do not need to tell people what you did. God sees you and he will reward you openly for that. God sees your hard work and he sees your effort. We need to be doing all things to bring him glory, not glory to ourselves, but only to him. So no matter what good deed we do, don't do it to impress others. Do it to bring glory to God and make him happy. So if we choose to do a good deed and decide to tell many people about it and they are telling us how great of a person we are and telling them thank you and oh that's wonderful, then we already received our reward. But rather if we did a good deed in secret, then God will, will reward us openly. And we all know that anything from God is way better than any praise that any human could give us. So to recap, we learned that we should not sound a trumpet as the hypocrites do in the synagogues or on the streets, whether it be a post on Instagram or some other type of social media. We should not sound a trumpet before us. We should be happy that we helped others and know that God saw us because in the end that is all that matters. And those who receive and seek the glory of men have already received their reward in full. And I know some of us, we innocently just want to tell our family and our friends of the things that happened throughout our day, but I think it is best that if we do a good deed, we just keep it between ourselves and God. And to answer some of your questions, let's say you gave money to someone who was in need and they say, thank you so much, and they're thanking you for it. I would say give glory to God right away because they even thanked Christ, but they then they started praising God for the goodness and the miracle that just happened. In conclusion, do all things for God and not to receive the praise of people. Let's do all things to point the world to God's love and how big and awesome he is. Let's do all things to build up his kingdom. We come before you and thank you so much for this week's devotional. Thank you God for this day, Lord. I pray that you will help us to do your good deeds in secret. Help us to have a heart, Lord, that is willing to give freely and not expect anything in return. Lord, soften our hearts. Help us to hear the things that you speak to us in your word and guide us in which way to go. Help us to stay on this narrow path, Lord, and to love you and love others as we should. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I really hope that all of this week's videos could be helpful to you. Please let me know in the comments below if you guys want to do another one and I'd be so glad. Thank you guys so much for joining us along on this amazing one week devotional. It was truly fun. I enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video.